Hello, I'm Pinaka fan. What better way to welcome the start of the new year, Year of the Dragon, by talking about its impending end. Oh yeah, presenting the top 10 ang pinaka popular na doomsday scenario. With the Mayan calendar about to end this December 21, 2012, talks are rife about the different catastrophic events that could most likely push the Earth to the brink of extinction. For your future, hindi mo mo predict you study yung risk. Ano bang likelihood na mangyayari yan? So ang pwedeng gawin ng scientist, i-eliminate yung impossible from the possible. Panahon pa ng 1600, lagi nang may mga doomsday scenarios. Usually, um, either religious yung origins or pseudo-scientific. It sounds like science, pero hindi naman talaga siya backed up ng facts. There are other people who really believe na, hindi, 2012 talaga kasi sabi ng Mayans. And the Mayans were right about chocolate, di ba? Sarap-sarap niya. So, <laughs> niniwala na ako about that. It's really for fun and it's really enjoying people to live life as if it's your last. So let's start our countdown of the popular doomsday theory starting with number 10, Planet X or Nibiru. Planet X, or the so-called Nibiru, is supposedly the 10th planet in our solar system. According to the theory, Nibiru is enormous and is on a 3,600-year elliptical orbit that places it in the Earth's gravitational proximity in 2012. There's this woman, sinabi niya, um, she was visited daw by aliens in 1995 and then sinabi niya, yung planet na yon, it's being called na Nibiru, it's gonna collide with the Earth. Una, walang planet na malapit kasi kung meron man, may mga satellites tayo orbiting the Earth. So kung meron mong planet X, kasi lahat ng heavenly bodies na obserbahan na yan. So walang basta-basang susulpot na lang at saka mabubunggu sa'yo. Na... <laughs> On to our next entry, coming in at number 9, Computers Take Over. In these times, computer technology is improving so fast that some people believe machines could replicate themselves and rule over the Earth. I am not a toy. Ang nangyayari kasi ngayon, um, mas naging advanced yung computers. Everyone's so plugged in. Everyone needs their gadgets. So, because they're so omnipresent in our lives, it's so easy to think that if all of these gadgets were to come alive and just take over, then baka mangyari. Coming in at number eight, zombies. With the recent pop culture crazes like Plants vs. Zombies or The Walking Dead, zombies oh have never been cooler. But could they be real? I think it had to do with just Tony Alarcon. And yung wag mong buhay ng bangkay. All throughout history, the Baperic, the idea of the undead, starting with yung Frankenstein, yung kay Mary Shelley, the idea na you're not supposed to play God. On to our next entry, coming in at number seven, electromagnetic pulse. An electromagnetic pulse, or EMP, whether from a weapon or solar activity, could destroy our entire electronic transportation and communications infrastructure in less than a second. That's similar to solar and gamma ray bursts. They can only be coming from nuclear actions, okay, or from inside stars. Those kind of bursts that can kill the Earth or that can damage the Earth. Coming in at number six, solar storms. When solar storms occur, the sun can emit tides of electromagnetic radiation and coronal mass ejections, or CMEs, large bubbles of gas threaded with magnetic field lines. CMEs are balls of plasma that can have catastrophic consequences. The sun kasi natin, is a big nuclear factory. On a lighter note, kasi sabi nga natin, dahil yung Pilipinas mahilig sa lechon everything, tsaka sa April, sobrang init, baka lang dito siya sa month ng April tumama. Coming in at number five, the big rip.
According to the Big Rip Theory, the planet and the entire universe will literally be torn apart. The universe is expanding and galaxies are moving farther and farther away from us. Nangyayari na ngayon yan, pero ang rate niya is very slow. So hindi mo nararamdaman. Sabi namin, para siyang value meal of bad luck. Kasi nagda-domino effect siya. You have the earthquake and then you have the tsunami. And then you have the volcano. And kung magsama-sama yung lahat, parang that's a crazy doomsday scenario. Coming in at number four, asteroid. Kalokohan yung, yung theory namin dito eh. Kasi sinabi namin, out of nowhere, magsisilabasan ang mga Korean cuties. Sasayuan tayo at magpapakute sila, magpaproject sila hanggang mamatay tayong lahat from nosebleed. The threat of an asteroid hitting the Earth is quite real. Actually, this is the other theory about what killed the dinosaurs and wiped out life on Earth in the early days. Basically, that the asteroids fell to the Earth, so to speak, it, they bombarded the Earth and um, rendered the Earth unlivable. All right, guys, coming in at number three, giant pandas, otherwise known as pandemic. Pandemic is the rapid and sudden spread of a deadly disease throughout the world. Usually, pag sinaming pandemic, it's a outbreak of a disease. Um, nangyari na to actually, yung Ebola, in examples, yung bird flu, lala ng, yan yung most likely scenarios na mangyayari na. For example, yung England, the wipeout siya nung bubonic plague, tsaka nung black plague. That was brought about by the rats. And at that time kasi, parang hindi pa handa yung, kumbaga, hindi pa handa yung katawan natin to handle that kind of virus. And viruses kasi mutated. Coming in at number two, global warming. Global warming is already happening as we speak, and the planet is getting hotter and hotter. Every year, parang tumatas yung temperature ng Earth, di ba? And then it causes weird patterns in the weather, rises, um, rise in sea level. It affects yung rainy season natin, saka yung dry season. So, even when we think na usually, Usually, di ba, dapat dry season na, tapos biglang babagyo, ang daming nagkakasakit. Ewan ko kung epekto siya ng, ano, ng too much hairspray in the 80s. <laughs> Kaya biglang may napunit na higanteng hole sa ozone layer and hence the warming, di ba? There's, so there's no, the protective layer covering the earth has been compromised. Parang ganon. And ang number one, ang nanguna, ang pinaka-popular doomsday scenario is... Nuclear war. The Cold War may be over, but the threat of a nuclear war still exists today. Why? Because there are a number of countries with the capability of deploying such destructive nuclear devices. Nuclear war, basically, we, we got a taste of this with World War II, no? when, when the countries were bombing each other, when they developed these devices that could cause effects as big as, well, the bombs in Hiroshima, the, bomb, the bombing of Pearl Harbor. Unlikely scenario din naman na um, North Korea will you know, detonate a bomb for no reason at all, without provocation or, I don't know, kung sino man yung target nila. How possible is the threat of nuclear war as a doomsday scenario? Napaka technologically advanced na natin. So, if you can imagine the level at which we are, kumbaga, ito, yung, ito tayo ng World War II. Ito tayo ngayon. So you can just imagine the magnitude of the bombs. And you could wipe out practically whole countries if you wanted to. If it really happens, then, it, then you, can, you can destroy a big part of the population. But it will not kill the human race, I think. Why do I say that? Because, for example, a huge tsunami has more energy than, uh, than, than many nuclear bombs. But a tsunami has, doesn't kill. The last tsunami, on Laki Laki Non, 20,000 died in Japan. Or in 2006, 200,000, 300,000. But 200,000, 300,000 is a huge amount, but compared to the 8 or 9 billion people, There you have it, our top 10 ang pinaka-popular na doomsday scenarios.